Clarksville diggers at you. Look what I brought home. <laughs> you never know about me. I wonder how long this thing is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's probably a little more than eight feet long. Some of y'all say, what is it? It's an old, old railroad rail. Old, old timey. It's a little heavy. That is just super cool. What I'm going to do with it, I'm going to cut me probably some six inch sections and then some one foot sections. I'm going to clean that down as good as I can and get it all smooth and primer it and then I'm going to hit it with a good coat paint. But what I'm going to do first on this top when, I'm, when I get this all clean, I'm going to really remove all that rust and I'm going to make that smooth, smooth and shiny. Those are going to be little anvils. I'm going to make anvils out of that. And then I'll drill holes on each side so it can be anchored. That's going to be cool. Might even try to throw a couple out on the local uh, market page around here. Maybe see if I can make a buck or two. But uh, probably uh, if it turns out as well as I think, I think I'm just going to save these and uh, I'm going to make Christmas presents out of them. I like to really get it good and cleaned up real good and surprise somebody with one. So I've got my, got my cutting wheels, got my paint. Oh man, I forgot all about these. My wife's wondering. We got these things at uh, Home Depot. I said, well, you want something to drink? She said, yeah. Well, let's get Dr. Pepper. <laughs> we, we totally forgot. Got my cutting wheels there. Hopefully that fits on my side grinder. This is the color I'm going to paint it. Apple red. Gloss. That's going to look cool. Okay, as we get going, I'll get updating. This is going to be our project for the day. Okay, eight drill bits later, I got it. I got got my holes in. This is some of the toughest metal to drill through. It killed eight of my drill bits. <laughs> but uh, that's going to be cool. What I got right now, I got on the primer. And this is just about dry. And then I'm going to go with the uh, apple red gloss. Then I'm gonna go back and regloss it. And when I get through, I think that's gonna that's gonna look really, really cool. I got this top part paint, but in the process of drilling, you know, some paint did get up. That's no biggie. I'll just get a little brush. I'll I'll scrape that right off. I think that's gonna look cool. Alright, let it finish drying. Okay, here's the finished product.
Looks kind of cool. From what that looked like to begin with. And now, somebody's going to get them a real nice little kind of a, I call it a rail anvil. And that is thick and solid. That could take a lot of pounding. I didn't grind this down completely. I didn't want to take out all of the vintageness out of it. I mean, I could have worked that down to where it would just be smooth and shiny, but I wanted to keep just a little bit of the pit. Kind of show its age. And that's kind of cool. Yeah, just a little bit of tape residue there. I'll get all that off. I like that. I'm gonna give that to my uh, to the landowner who owned the land that I got the rail off of. He might just need a small little hitting anvil. This is about uh, nine inches. And I left the base in its natural. It's kinda cool. All right, that was my day project. <laughs> now I'm gonna have to go online and find me some really good metal drill bits. If I keep going through the ones I do, I think I'm gonna probably invest in a, in a small drill press where I can have a little bit more control. That's pretty cool, I like that. Just wanna share it with you. Again, like I say, you just never know what Clarksville Diggers are gonna do. Y'all have a blessed day. Joanne and I says bye.